Hey guys, welcome back. Sims Beauty here with another video and a special guest, my husband, Claude. So remember a couple of videos back we did, um, let's talk about marriage part one and part two. I had my husband review those videos and sorry, that's pancake in the back, being hyper. Um, I had my husband review those videos and I wanted to know what his take on those videos were. So, how did you think I did in my videos? I think they were fine. Did you agree with what I said or did you disagree? Did you have, have more to add? How about I start with this question? Because this is a topic that I really talked about um, the sickness and health part of vows. Like, you know, how I said, some people say to me, oh, Tisha, you should be so lucky Cole didn't leave you. But I look at it like when we took our vows, that's kind of what we both signed up for, whether it be me or you. How you feel about that? For sickness and health is part of a lot of people vows. I mean, I guess some of them make their own vows up yeah. as they go along, but mm -hmm. in general, with the general population, the sickness and health part is a vow. I agree that if you marry a person and they are sick, you should be by their side. But I agree with the same thing as a family member. Mm -hmm. If they're sick, you should be by their side. And I also believe with a friend, you should be by their side. Actually, the other day, one of my friends was like, yeah, I have, I might have pro prostate. prostate cancer. And I told him, well, if you need me, let me know. Boom, boom, boom. Um, and um, they were only 50. So dang, I'm sorry to hear that, babe. But they had more tests to do. Then they yeah. definitely find out. But that's how I look at it. So I agree with that 100%. Do so you feel like being in a marriage if if one of the parties is sick, do you feel like um, it's important to be there for that person and to let them know, like, they're not a burden? Because I don't know, like, when we're out together, sometimes I do feel like people look at you like, well, why is he with her? Um, I mean, very well, people may believe that and might think that, but for me to have... A mother who had a handicap ever since I was born, I was able to deal with this. So, oh yeah, and with takes, your dad, yeah, yeah, you were used. So it takes special type of people. Yeah, I agree. Some of us will be born with handicaps, and some of us will acquire handicaps through the course of our life. Mm -hmm. So I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, that doesn't bother me one bit. Yeah, and like for me, I feel like if the shoe was on the other foot, I would just be as supportive as my husband is to me, and um. Yeah, like like I said before, when he had his accident, um, it didn't matter to me if they had to cut off everything. I was still going to be there. And that was one of the things that I kept making sure that I said to him, like, no matter what happens, I'm going to be here every step of the way. And, um, you know, actions speak louder than words sometimes because everybody, some people do not trust people's words. So I think... In situations like that, being there and showing that you're going to be there is, is important too. So what topics, like when you reviewed the videos, what did you come up with that you feel like I either should have expanded on or things that I didn't include? Well, I don't think it's nothing that you didn't include or you couldn't expand on. Mm -hmm. It's just that when I was looking at it, I was just looking at different things, that's all. Well, what did you look at, and what did you find? Well, actually, two of the things you just went over, like it was the vows and the sickness and health thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I also think that for a marriage, no matter what kind of marriage it is, counseling before marriage is definitely important. I also believe that you need to know people's family, too, because oh, yeah. Yeah. people don't believe that that's a lot, but if... And I don't mean no disrespect to nobody, but if my whole entire family, from my grandmom to my mom to my aunts and my uncles, and we all lived in trailer parks, 
not to say that they bad people, but we might have a certain characteristic that uh -huh. we carry. Where though, where you come from is vital in any type of relationship. I definitely agree with that when he said, um, one, premarital counseling is so, so, so important. A lot of people skip this step, and I feel like if you guys both aren't strong enough to get through it by yourself, just because you go to marriage counseling doesn't mean that you're headed for divorce. You know what I'm saying? Marriage counseling is a resource, and you should use it. Before you get married, during marriage, we've been to marriage counseling again, and we've been married for going on 11 years, and we're still together. So just because you're going to marriage counseling, it could be you guys don't know how to communicate, or you guys, when you do communicate, you don't communicate effectively. It could be that you both came from two different worlds, um, because I know when me and my husband met, a lot of people initially thought that we were like we just fell head over heels for each other and that's not how it went how did it go babe? and how do you think um our backgrounds would how do you think our backgrounds um impacted our relationship like when we first met each other i'm gonna have to come back to that okay <laughs> okay um i can tell you that the background of a person does make a big difference. Yeah. It's almost like a DVD that you can say you saw before. One right. family has all law enforcement and another mm -hmm. family have all about. criminals. So, like you just so you know, of course, the law enforcement family going to view themselves as yeah. being better than the criminals. But for me, my perspective on a lot of stuff is good guys do crimes too, and if, even agree. if it's on your taxes, that's a crime. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so the premarital counseling part is important, and I think really taking the time out to meet the other person's family because, uh, sometimes people I know, like with me, my idea of marriage was I thought that you know I was just going to get married and then we're you know in laws, we were all going to come together and this and the other, so it's, it's really important that you one discuss what your idea of marriage is with your partner and then number two take out the time to meet their family because um i know that a lot of people think that oh well i'm just married to that person but no you're really marrying into a family and you have to be able to de decipher are you know like are you going to deal with your in-laws are you not most likely you know in in the um idea form in marriage of course you would want to deal with your, your in-laws but things like that come up and that's why it's important to take your time and find out how the person's family is and let them find out what your family looks like as well um what else you know with the family thing if your mate don't know at least five people in your family then Y'all got to do a renewal where you, they get to know people in your family. But just knowing a person, mom, is mm -hmm. not enough. No, no, and no. And no, I no. hate to say that a lot of times people are like, well, even when you go to the doctor, they ask you for two sides of the family. They don't just say, well, just tell us about your mom's uh, history and her medical uh, history. Mm -hmm. No, they say, we want to know about your mother and your father. And there's a reason and there's a cause for that. Right. And I think that anybody who is in a marriage and they're considering having children... If you do not know your family history, please take out the time for both of y'all to get genetic testing just so nothing pops up because you just never know. Um, yeah, I was just wondering what my husband's uh, reaction was to my videos. I actually had him review them in private, so I wasn't there when he reviewed them so he can make you know his own notes or whatever. Is there anything that we haven't touched on? Any advice you could give to newly engaged people, people who want to be married but can't find a, a mate? Um, do you think the praying for your your future partner or praying for your partner is important? And how important do you think religion is in a, in a relationship, a marriage? That's a lot of information I just asked. Yeah, it is. Well, with religion... Both of y'all should be in tune. I mean, I know sometimes people say it don't matter, but I think that 
united you stand, divides you will fall. So mm -hmm. I believe that. And I also believe that if a person... Let me see. If you can't share kids and everything else, don't get married. It's not no, well, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. No, if you can't share everything, mm -hmm. I mean, that goes with that. That goes with success. If you can't share everything. If I have two kids and you have ten kids and we call ourselves being together, if you can't share me with me with my ten kids, then it's not don't do it. Yeah. But yeah. some of these things can get stopped in the beginning. Yeah. You don't have to go years or you have to get this break. You can do that. That's the introduction part of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, that could be one of your checklists as well. If this happens, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And once you give, give yourself options of a checklist, then you will deal with less. You will be prepared for the rest. Mm -hmm. And you come up with the best. <laughs> the man... A few words, but when he does speak, he speaks volumes. So, is there anything else you want to add before we close this out, babe? No, I just say it'd be a continuation somewhere in the near future because I don't like closing things, but I just like to continue things. Mm. Wow. I guess that's a really good way of viewing things. It's like my brother, Devin, he always says, I don't want to say bye, I just want to say. Talk to you later. Well, I say bye to some people because I don't want to talk to them later. Go to rest and be in peace. But other people, you know, you don't want to say bye to them. But you know. yeah. Well, guys, that was my husband's take on. Um, let's talk about marriage, part one and part two. And he will, you know, do a little guest appearances here and there. But until um, next time, guys. In case no one told you today, you are enough. You are enough just the way you are with no strings attached. God did not make a mistake when he made you. And if no one told you that you're loved today or that they love you, I love you. So until next time, guys, peace, love, and blessings.